I am not comfortable. And he had coerced me into making the change. I did not want to do it, but I felt I had no choice because he forced me to add the request to transfer application rights over to him, despite what the law says, despite the opinion of the former attorney general. I really did not like it. I felt he was asking me to violate the law that went against my moral code. The Chamorro Land Trust Commission's February meeting took quite the turn when the commission began addressing constituent concerns, with land agent Lindia Tolu alleging that CLTC director Jack Hattig coerced her into requesting the transfer of application rights from one constituent to another, despite the commission's rules and a former attorney general's opinion, prompting CLTC board chair John Rages Jr. to table all relative constituent matters and launch an investigation. We've addressed it with the director. Um, we, uh, you know, the, 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 what's paramount, right, is transparency, um, clarity, and, and openness and communication to ensure, right, that, um, you know, none of this um, happens again. But when asked about the status of the investigation... I'd rather not uh, uh, discuss that piece right now because it is part of my uh, report. Um, but what I, what I can say is that, you know, I'm taking the necessary steps to move forward in how these reports are, are um, uh, generated on how they're reported to us. We're treating it as a, uh, a personal matter, an HR matter. Responding to the board on the allegations brought forth by Tolu, Hatzik stated that he was making a recommendation. And although it appears that recommendation would be illegal, Governor Lulian Guerrero stands by her man at the CLTC. I am very confident that Jack has not intentionally meant anything contrary to the laws or the regulations or the commission's instructions. So I have every confidence that Jack, uh, in his deliberations, will also um, uh, show that he has done everything within his authority. More and more questions are being asked on the issue and whether or not it's an isolated incident. The commission's decision to treat the matter as a personnel issue leaves much to the imagination, but when directly asked if the CLTC is covering up the incident, Cover, there's no, I'm, there's nothing, I know, because I'm, I know, I know I'm, 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 I'm doing what I need to do. I'm, I'm putting forward a process. I'm committed to making sure that none of this happens again. And there's no, there's no, there's nothing to cover up. For Guam's News Network, I'm Peter Santos.